Welcome to Nebraska News Service Top 5 Stories of the Week. I'm Nick Fullerton. On October 11th, Nebraska tribes celebrated Indigenous Peoples Day at the state capitol. This was the first year Indigenous Peoples Day was celebrated in Nebraska thanks to a bill passed in 2020. State Senator Patty Pansing Brooks proposed LB 848 designating every second Monday in October of each year Indigenous Peoples Day. Reporter Sarah Mirza attended the event hosted by the Nebraska Commission on Indian Affairs. The event included a tribal flag dedication ceremony and the unveiling and a dedication of the Dr. Susan LaFleche Picot statue on Centennial Mall. Dr. LaFleche Picot was the first Native American to earn a medical degree and the first female Native American physician. The Nebraska Winnebago tribe held a powwow dance drumming exhibition during the event as well. On September 1st, a controversial Texas law banning abortions after six weeks of pregnancy went into effect. Reporter Ethan Petrick talked to Nebraskans about their opinions on the law. A Texas law banning abortion after six weeks of pregnancy took effect on September 1st. Sadie Brewer, a senior psychology student at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, said she disagrees with the law. Lawmakers are making these laws based on um, religious morals, and I think not even talking about how it's a violation of women's rights. In addition to restrictions on abortion, the law also allows private citizens to sue anyone who helps a woman obtain an abortion. Brooke Fullerton, the parent life director at Youth for Christ in Lincoln, supports the Texas law. I'm super excited about it. Fullerton said she would support similar legislation in Nebraska. The biggest benefit is that babies won't be killed. And I definitely want um, babies to live, and I definitely want them to live in Nebraska as well. According to a study from Monmouth University, 54% of the public disagrees with the law's implementation. Animal shelters across the state are currently seeing a decrease in pet adoptions compared to 2019. Reporter David Berman talked to the Nebraska Humane Society in Omaha. The shelter reported they have around 10,000 adoptions per year, but in 2020 that number decreased to a little over 7,000. The national percentage from 2019 to 2020 dropped to 20 percent. The Nebraska Humane Society in Omaha are also seeing an increase in owners surrendering their animals. This drop in adoption rates and increase in returns could be due to people becoming more active compared to their early pandemic isolation. Shelter representatives said people should adopt only when they are fully prepared and ready. Local entrepreneur and music artist Hakeem is influencing the rap culture in Lincoln. He has released eight full albums and has 422 monthly listeners on Spotify. Reporter Devin Hinkson talked to him about the challenges and accomplishments of being a rapper in Lincoln. Local musician and entrepreneur Hakeem believes in his slogan. Make waves where there's no ocean. That's exactly what I did. Hakeem opened Corn Coast Company in October of 2019, an establishment that is a barber shop, clothing brand, and CBD shop under one roof. With Corn Coast laying the groundwork for Hakeem's vision, He's been making significant music. I've taken rap seriously and decided I wanted to make a career um, in 2016. Um, November 4th, 2016 is when Art Society LLC, uh, my recording label, has officially become uh, LLC. Um, other than that, I've been rapping since like sixth grade. Since 2016, Hakeem has released eight full albums. His latest, Cream of Crop 2, came out in September 2021. Reporter Ben Porter talked to Glass Law in Lincoln and Johnson and Peckany in Omaha about how the pandemic is affecting attorneys. Many firms are turning to online conferences as a way to settle cases and to keep in contact with their clients. It still takes the same amount of time for cases to get done, just as it would in person. For Johnson and Peckany, it was difficult to find clients during the pandemic due to fewer DUIs, money problems, and some divorces being pushed back. However, for Glass Law, their client rate actually increased because many who could not afford a lawyer now could because of the federal stimulus checks. That's all we have for today. Check back next week for our next top five stories of the week. For these stories and more, visit NebraskaNewsService.net. For the Nebraska News Service, I'm Nick Fuller.